Hello and welcome to another episode of Refresh Perspective here on Heavenward Thinking. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 13 verses 18 through 21, so I'll read it and we'll get right into this week's discussion. Then Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds perched in its branches. Again he asked, What shall I compare the kingdom of God to? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about sixty pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. As we look at these two similar parables, what can we see with a fresh perspective? Well, I, I think, again, uh, Jesus is, is trying to show the difference, right, in, in what he's trying to accomplish, right? Mm. That, that we, we need to understand that, that we should be thinking the ones matter, the twos matter, the small comments matter, the small actions matter, the things mm. matter, because they grow. I love those stories where people go in through a drive through of Tim Hortons or something like that, and they start paying it forward. Mm. All of a sudden, you have five, six, seven hours of people paying for the person behind them, right? Or pour, paying towards the person behind them. It, it, it's an amazing thing. It just grows, and it grows, and it grows, and it grows. Random acts of kindness, right, mm. that are purposeful in nature, meaning you are in tune with God, what God is doing. Right? We don't sow by accident. Mm. There are no random acts of kindness, right? It, it, we should be being obedient to what God is asking us to do, right? Mm. And, it, and then it's contagious, right? God takes that little bit, the tiny bit, right? And, and like Elijah found, hey, you're going to have food forever. You're mm. going to have... You're gonna have oil forever you're going to have enough flour forever whatever it is it gets to just give me the little bits and watch it grow it's such a simple simple concept and we will make it super complex but the simplicity of it is give the little bit that you have and watch what god does with it mm, absolutely yeah i think that's a, a great concept one that we forget we often think that we need to have some great knowledge or great abilities or great gifts to bring to the table when we are serving the Lord. Uh, but like you mentioned, he just wants us to bring whatever we have. He wants us to give him the little bit. Like you said, giving, uh, doing nice things for people is not something that you just happen to do randomly. It's living intentionally and doing the small things in life that then compound and become huge things later on. It grows as we see these two different things, the mustard seed becoming a great tree or this woman mixing yeast into 60 pounds of flour how a little bit can stretch into something greater and we see that with the kingdom of god when one person's life is changed when someone becomes a christian and turns their life radically over to jesus and is completely different then that one little solitary person can quickly grow to a huge community or to entire nations as we've seen throughout 2000 years how the church started small and grew huge that's ultimately what the kingdom of god is so again that concept of giving the small things over to god because he can do great things with the small things yeah yeah i was talking to a guy today who is heading up a half a million dollar building project right and and when you ask him like, like it started with somebody giving a, a little bit hmm. right it started with somebody having an idea and then pitching that to people and it starts with the ones and the twos and the threes giving five and fifteen and twenty dollars it doesn't start with somebody giving a half a million dollars mm -mm. right it starts with people just giving the little bit and then that grows mm. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that concept we see all throughout the New Testament, how Jesus says, give me the little bit and I watch what I'll do with it. I, I think of how he fed the 5,000 or how he fed the 4,000, how he was able to take a little bit that was given and then make it into a huge meal for people or, or all throughout scripture we see examples of that how god's able to take the little that we give him and multiply it greatly and so it should be an encouragement for us to give god whatever we have and watch how he can do great things with that amen well we hope you've been encouraged and challenged by this and you'll join us next time for another episode of our fresh perspective here on heavenward thinking <laughs>